There are those who said this day would never come. What are they to say now? Podtacker episode 162, Podcast Reborn, the week of September 7th, 2008. You know, when I signed up, it was for a college credit and a down payment on a car, but that was pretty exciting. Welcome to Podtacular, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast. You're about to hear what the Halo Nation had to say about this week's topic at Podtacular.com to help you dominate at Halo. So strap on your Spartan armor and grab a battle rifle because it's time to finish the fight. It's come down to just chill with me. A battle will decide our destiny. My brothers are dead. My family is hers. I'm on the ground. No, I'm on the ground. Okay, everyone. Welcome back to the Reborn episode of Podtacular. I am Woo! Deathstorm. I'm Cryptoflix. And I am Lancelot. He thinks. He's All right. Lancelot. Yes, he's Lancelot. <laughs> I'm Lancelot. I'm English. No <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are bringing the podcast back. If you guys haven't figured that out by now, yeah, um, I have to do the mouse. <laughs> this brush is cheap very often, so it wasn't pleasant. <laughs> okay. Right. Um. So yeah. You're probably wondering where Fumo or JVB is. Um, actually, if you remember, they they um, on the I wouldn't say drop, but they they left the podcast about four months ago, and uh, Fumo has let a couple of the community members, including myself, uh, Me. pick it up. And uh, yes. And other um, people, like Chucky. Other people are involved. There's actually quite a few people involved from the community. So, we are happy to be bringing this back for y'all. And, yeah, it's we've been working hard over the summer. Well, we've been getting together. hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we've been getting together periodically just to discuss our ideas, and we've refined a lot of the stuff we originally brainstormed uh, in June, so... Yeah, we're really hoping to take this, you know, 110 percent. 115. <laughs> we're I call 120. Yeah. Just like the Xbox 360. <laughs> Maybe Back not quite that much. Yeah. Not as fail as the 360. We're not going to red ring. Yeah. <laughs> Podcast yeah. red ring. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, this episode is basically just a introductory episode, kind of giving you an idea of what we're going to be doing with the new podcast format. Uh, it's going to be similar to the old one, but there's going to be a few changes. So the first thing we want to cover is kind of what's been going on between uh, when Fumo and JBB ended the podcast back in April of this year till now of us recording this. So over the past couple of months, a uh, couple of the community members, including uh, Crypto and Lance and I that are here right now, uh, got together in a conference, and we decided that we were going to bring the podcast back. So that's why you're listening to this right now. Yay. We call it the Bontacular Leadership Conference. And uh, uh, who was there at that first conference? We also had uh, Kai FX there. Uh, Fuma Jai. Yeah, yeah Fuma, Fuma was there. The storm. Uh, and that's about it. Oh, wait, yeah. Freak yeah. Bo- no, Freakin' Box didn't show up because of um, some personal reasons. Right. Uh, he- and I don't think G. Lewis showed up to that one either. No, I didn't. He wasn't no, invited. G. Lewis was there. Invited. Was he? Yeah, he was there. Okay. Beep. Yeah, Gloops was there. <laughs> if Lance you say so. Machine. <laughs> okay. So right. what are we going to expect from Particular in the near future? Well, uh, in the near future, we're going to be, of course, bringing the, the regular podcast back. The, we're going to have three regular hosts on there, which will include me, Cryptoflix, and G. Lewis. Uh, Lancelot's in here right now because we're recording this after the conference. Um, yeah. so I might be dropping 
periodically from time to time. Right. Yeah. Right. A lot of the leadership members that uh, have participated in, in these sets of conferences that we've had will probably be in and out as long as, uh, Fum along with Fumo Jab and JV, Bill will bring back in on a regular basis just to keep an eye on them and see what they've been doing with their lives. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> just stupid. Evening. Hang on. Let's see if I can uh, pull the cable. Okay. <laughs> oh, <sorry. Done. laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're okay. wondering what that beeping noise is, that that would be Lancelot's computer. It's, it's gonna this explode. really old laptop with a really bad battery. It's okay, ex- <laughs> it's just a time bomb. <laughs> Very slowly. Okay, yeah, I think that that should take care of it for now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have a lineup for today's podcast, and this probably won't get in the show notes for this podcast since it's a uh, just kind of a episode just to get back in the, the swing of things. But yeah, the first thing we want to talk about yes. is what has actually happened between or over the last four months. So Fumo, Jive, and JBB had other commitments uh, aside from the podcast, and that's why they originally dropped in the first place. Um, Fumo had, you know, he was pretty much given most of his week up running the podcast, and JVB was appearing on so many others, plus uh, the post-game report, which he was running on talking about games.com. Right. Yep. So, so since... Since the since, peak returned... <laughs> uh, since, since they're busy with those, uh, the of course, the podcast went down, and it was, at that time, thought uh, for good. Uh, Afterwards, Pod TV was going to take, or did take, over the the podcast with video episodes for a little while, and that that's where crypto came in. So, if you want to talk about a little about that crypto, uh, okay, uh, me freak in a box. Um, we wanted to really change Podtacular from what it was; just used to be an audio podcast. We wanted to try and change it into video. It actually proved a lot harder than we first thought. Um, it take like a few weeks to actually make a decent show, cut it all together, get all the submissions in, send all the submissions over Xbox Live, download them, it just takes forever. Um, and then Freak in the Box had to uh, leave for a while, he got married, um, which we really need to appreciate him on, because... Congratulations to him. Yep. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's where we are now, really, we can't really bring out any more episodes of Pod TV because they, they just take too much too much time and too much hard work, that's why... We're moving back to the podcast, which I think is a good idea, and was greatly missed when it was inactive. <laughs> yep. Uh, also, another thing that popped up uh, before the podcast, and it actually was the Around the Ring podcast, which Lancelot and I host. Um, yeah. We're currently on episode five, I believe. Uh, Lance, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, this originally started like pretty much right after I came to Podtacular. I wanted to start up a PC segment because I noticed a lack of you know, PC involvement at the time. And what I'd originally done was I'd approached Babam about it. And initially the idea got really shot down. So I decided to wait a while. I went back again and, you know, Fumo liked the idea. So I sat down and talked to him a few times. Then we started to work with it, with Mibam and I started to work with it a little bit. Bye bye. <clears throat> We got uh, one test episode done, and then it died off because he got grounded. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, a month later, a dust storm had been periodic, had to send in a message or two to me saying, well, if you guys need help, uh, I'm here. So, I decided to take him up on that after I had uh, f- figured out some of my other stuff with school. And then, yeah, this is pretty much how it started. Two months later, we started making episodes. Good. Yep, and so that's going been going on for a while. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, also, one other community project that popped up, um, and G. Lewis would be here to talk about it, but he has other obligations today. <laughs> uh, girlfriend, cough, cough. Uh, was the Podtacular Community Podcast, and that was. Hosted by Nobody and G. Lewis, and it was supposed to take over the audio part of Podtacular. 
not necessarily being a new podcast, but being a podcast related to the community and what what's going on in the community, podcast community more specifically. So it wasn't a full blown out like campaign or multiplayer tips show, but just kind of a community update kind of show. Okay. And that was running for a little bit until it, it died off uh, recently. So that's another reason why we're bringing the podcast back. That was kind of an overview of what's happened community-wise. Uh, as far as bringing the podcast back, uh originally started with Cryptofix sending an email to Fumo, actually. Well, it was uh, to um, Fumo, uh, Freak in a Box, and I think that's about it. Maybe some right. people. I think Lancelot was in the loop for that email, actually. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty much everybody who showed up at the first conference. Well, that was before. The well, I know. I know between we sent between out, you know? Fumo, Crypto, and me, we we added a bunch more people on there. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I was in the initial bit there as well. Yeah. Right. Anyway, that email basically sparked the whole leadership conference and what is turning out to be bringing the podcast back. So, you can yeah. give credit to Crypto for sending that email along. <laughs> Donations but, uh, are accepted. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, basically, it was an email. What, what, was, what was in the email, Crypto? It was just something I can't remember, actually. It was um, that I wanted to start up a small podcast um, to try and get people back to the particular because I noticed people were leaving quickly. And that Pod TV wasn't really working out too well. Uh huh. Wasn't just quickly. It was like fleeing, almost. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, it seemed like the podcast was what well, was keeping the community together. It was the glue of the community. Yep. It was the super glue. <laughs> Acetone. Duct tape. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Okay, we're moving on. Yes, yeah. we are. Um. So, yeah. Before we get into anything else, uh, who we are. Uh, this is for uh, an, any of us that are here. So, crypto, we'll start with you. Um, what do you really do in the community as far as Pod TV and such? Uh, well. Back in, I think it was 2006, I started doing um, school run-throughs for Halo 2. Uh, at that time, Freak in a Box was running Pod TV. And then it moved on to Algebra Cow running Pod TV, and I was doing videos for him, supporting him with what he was doing. Uh, after Algebra, Algebra Cow stepped down from that, I took the lead from Pod TV and started to try and recruit people to help me make videos, bring them out. I am... Um, and then we moved on to Podtacular uh, Podcast shutting down. Uh, Fumo uh, handing it over to me and Freak in a Box to try and actually bring it into a video podcast now. But that didn't work out too well because of uh, reasons that we explained already. And um, here we are today. I'm just, I just uh, hang around on the forums now, uh, play a bit of Halo now and again. Um, that's about it, really. Yeah, and some Team Fortress. Oh, I play Team Fortress. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to university in uh, September, so hopefully it should be good. Oh, to do game design as well, so that's looking forward to that as well, which will be really exciting. Oh yeah, yeah. sweet. So it's uh, yeah. So Lance, what about you? How are, how are you involved in the community? Um, I came to Podtacular in 2006, first episode, I actually found it through the Spartan Life, the first episode when, uh, FOMO and JVB had Damien and Fiber Optic on the show, yeah, episode 83. After that, uh, I just started listening to episodes, I really started to like the community, um, then yeah, I kind of explained the rest of the history there, I tried to, initially when I first came, joined the forums, started, uh, tried to get some support for a PC group that kind of got shot down, then tried it again with the bam, he got grounded, and then months later started up and got episodes out with Dust Storm, which brought us up to here. So I'm mostly involved with the uh, general community as well as the PC group. Cool. 
Uh, quick thing, quick thing for me. Um, I also came in around 2006 in the summer, uh, around the beginning of May. So, uh, I've, I heard about Podtector before from, uh, several other sources online. Um, but I never really got, got into it until summer 2006 where, uh, we had a family vacation to Africa for two weeks and I, I downloaded all the episodes and I listened to about 30 or 40 of the first episodes before, uh, the trip was over. So, uh, that's where I came in. And then I got really excited about the, the Halo PC clan since I'm a, I'm a bigger PC gamer than a console gamer. But I got started up in there. Um, just kind of hanging around the forums a lot. And now I am a uh, moderator and overlord for the uh, Potacular Halo PC clan. And like Lance said, I also do the Around the Ring podcast with him as well. Cool. Oh, uh, before, uh, I also actually found Potacular in 2005 on episode about 36, I think. But I didn't actually make an account on the site until mid-2000. No, I, sorry, 2005 something I joined. And didn't make an account until 2006 or something like that. Episode 36, I joined on, but I remember that. I found it in a business studies lesson. <laughs> Ran, random Googling. And it wasn't blocked nice. at school as well. But I think I found the podcast right after Spellcheck left. Oh, I, he was still there when I was listening. I think I came in like the late 40s or something. The late 40s, when televisions weren't around. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as we've been saying, we, we've had these leadership conferences. We just got done with our second one today, and this is where we decided to bring the podcast back, and the main reason we wanted to bring it back was uh, for community reasons, since when the podcast ended back in April, a lot of the community activity has fallen through the floor, so we were hoping that if we brought the podcast back... Uh, we would get some more people coming back into the community and visiting the forums, um, subscribing to the podcast and things like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who? Yeah. Yeah. Are we on the next section now? Uh, yeah, we're under the the who we are section. Okay, dokie. Right. So, uh, do you guys so, want to jump over to Virtuous Postulate now? What, he's here? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is he here? Yeah. yeah, so if you if some of you have been paying attention to the forums, and I'm sure any of you that are listening probably have, there was a person in the forums who went by the name of Virtuous Postulate. Postulate uh, Virtuous is... <laughs> uh, Crypto, you want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, yeah. Um, actually, it was uh, Dust Storm that started up. He, he, well, we, we, we wanted to bring the podcast back, but we didn't want to just like announce it all at once. We wanted to do something like they did on Bunch.net with, um, what's his name? What, what, Ad- what? Agent Reflux. Yeah, him. And uh, we wanted to like do a little mini uh, particular arg. So, um, it was the brains behind the project was Dust Storm. He'd come up with all these witty, um, posts and all these clever thesaurus ridden. Remarks, <laughs> pretty amazing. <laughs> Actually, I only used the thesaurus for the for finding virtuous postulate. That's the only time I used the thesaurus. <laughs> and then we come up with the idea how to um, drop hints in the posts. We use the um, the barcode from the back of the Halo boxes. We started with Halo CE and we went through to um, Halo, Halo Three. Ha- uh, Halo Three, sorry. Uh, yeah. That's what the numbers are in the log, the log number. That's what they, uh, they are. And, yeah. And um, then we, then what happened after that? I can't remember. <laughs> then we just started dropping more and more hints. As oh yeah, we used the uh, we started replacing the characters in words with symbols with uh, ASCII characters. Now um, that's st- that started off weird, and and <laughs> Lance, Lance will probably go on the rant about this one. It started off with first that crisis. crisis. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah. spells Price is like the game name instead of the actual word. I was just like, what? <laughs> Come yeah. on. 
the the only reason why I didn't catch that was because uh, since I'm doing it on the same computer, having my account and the virtuous postulate, I was using IE as a secondary um, browser. Yeah, secondary browser to to be virtuous postulate. Now IE doesn't have a built-in spell checker where Firefox does, so I didn't catch that, and almost everyone caught it. And it actually turned out really nice because then I, I started replacing characters, and it took a while to come up with a phrase. But we just finally decided to come up with the phrase: "The podcast is alive," and that's where all the miscellaneous characters and symbols came in. Yeah. Uh, and once it was announced that um, the podcast was coming back, uh, Chucky decided to do a like a little competition where he could win a new T-shirt, which was being designed by Captain Crunk. And um, all you had to do is guess who who Virtuous Postulate was, and there was one person who guessed who he was, and that was uh, Steve Master, uh, something like that. Steve Matic or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, okay, I'll just. Yeah. We're probably Can't butchering his name. Is like, guesses, <laughs> we're probably butchering his name. He's like, that's not how you say my name. My name's Carl. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> okay, um, and yeah, uh, Captain Crunk was going to design the T-shirt. I don't have any more information on that. It was Chucky J who came up with the idea. Yeah. So, well, actually, it was my idea, and I told them to to post it so they wouldn't think it was me. And I nearly ruined it all by um, good job. Uh, Chucky's a good moderator and can delete posts quick. Because <laughs> as soon as yeah. you posted something, I posted something like. Something ridiculous that gave it away. <laughs> Chucky <laughs> managed to do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so... we're working on some issues with um, because uh, some people in the IRC. I've been talking to them about working with the PC clan again, and they picked and then like they asked, "Well, hey, you're up on the higher boob, and you got connections, right?" And I said, "Yes, somewhat." So then they started pestering me as like, "Who's virtuous postulates?" <laughs> really? and then they just started guessing random people and I just typed in maybe for all of them now that that's a good way to do it maybe maybe yes. maybe so potato <laughs> okay so but yeah, yeah. They, they were very persistent but uh yeah well Chucky I actually been safe until the right time Chucky would be having conversations with a couple of people who asked him about it, and he would, uh, on nights where I'd be coming up with this content, he'd be copying and pasting his conversations with people uh, into our chat window, and I'll be like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So there was, there was... Him to, like, look up his IP and stuff like that. Right. And there was actually a time where we posted in... Where was it? We posted outside, oh, it was in the Arts and Six section, and Red Dot's actually a mod for that, and we didn't realize it until Red Dot sent uh, Chucky a PM uh, on Potacular, and he did an IP lookup the same way, and he, he PM Chucky, and he's like, does Dust Storm have anything to do with this, and is, is this important? So we were like, oh, shoot, but... Thankfully, he he stayed quiet. So Good. many many shout outs to him for for keeping the secret in there. Yeah. And we uh, but, uh, the first post actually was quoting uh, Prophet of uh, Truth, wasn't it? Yes, it was actually, and that was the only uh, it was it was referring to that post was actually referring to the podcast dying out. Now, if you if you look at all the VP posts, in some way or another, they're related to Pod Tackler, the community, or the podcast, in some way, shape, or form. That all of the posts that I made as VP were hinting on the podcast and or the Pod Tackler community. Yeah. Okay. So. That yeah, was that. Uh, yeah, that's a brief history behind VP. There, there are also a couple other things in there that could have given given away some hints. Oh, like the um, the, the time you posted it. Delta Sigma. Uh, DNS. yeah. 
Well, the Delta Sigma thing was actually a hint for me when we were going to put out the contest. The encryption Delta Sigma was supposed to be a, a hint on who it was. And I don't think anyone caught on to that, so I, I think I kind of got lucky. <laughs> I, I, I saw what you were doing there, but you know I'm not going to tell anyone. Right. Good. Well, yeah, it was it was fun to play VP. I'll I'll say that. Um, it wasn't easy because, uh, especially from anorexic leader, he asked a, a lot of um, provoking questions, so to say, so to speak. So it was it was fun. Uh, I definitely, I definitely enjoyed playing VP. And I'll probably actually write up a review on what everything was. But, yeah, I, I had posts in there which were supposed to reflect on something um, within the community. Like the one I posted in PCP where I had the Process 158 was supposed to be the last episode that came out. And the main data array thread was actually the ID of PCP. So there, there's a lot of intertwining of the podcast and the community and, and all the VP stuff that I did. Yeah, it was written amazing as well. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Amazingly. Ow. I, I, I tried to do what Bungie did and I, I, I would think I did okay. Yeah, I think it was good. A lot of uh, people joined in, actually. Even though they thought it was fake to some degree, um, a lot of people joined in with the whole role-playing kind of thing. Right. Right, well, people were saying this is a fake, and other people were saying, well, I'll just go with it and, and figure out what it is. And there were actually a couple people on the forums who thought it was actually Bungie at one point. Yeah. So, it, it was interesting trying to tell them that it's not a Bungie thing, but not totally give up their hopes. Okay. So... So, uh, yeah, we're just going to move on here to the future of the show. And it we've kept some things the same, and some things, or a lot of things, really are going to change. Uh, Podcast-wise, the rotation uh, is going to be similar to that that we had before the new podcast, so the, the old rotation. But instead of the campaign show, we're going to be doing uh, a new section. And this, which is going to be replaced by the Around the Ring podcast that Lance and I have been doing. And it's going to basically be a section pertaining to other popular games in the gaming community. So not just it's not going to necessarily... Um, no, not the platforms. We're, I'm it. currently aiming cause for uh, PC Central, but I mean, we're going to be open as well to games on consoles. Okay. Right. And then yeah, so, we're also yeah. keeping the old favorites, of multiplayer tips, customs and call-ins, tales from the foxhole. Yeah, those are still staying in the rotation, but the can since we've gone through most of the Halo Three campaign, we're gonna drop that for this new section that we're putting in. I think we're gonna finish off the actual the last two levels. We're gonna wrap them up into one show, which will be coming out um, within the rotation, but it won't actually be in the new rotation. Yeah. So it'll just be a one-off so, episode. Uh, wasn't Dust Drum going to continue doing the video run-throughs? Somebody yeah, I'm still going to be doing video run-throughs for Pod TV, but we're going to wrap up. Since Fumo didn't finish the last two episodes on Audio Podcast, we're going to do that um, for the first time, and then we will transition over to the new rotation after we do that episode. And well, so, that's what you expect from the podcast. We're doing a lot of other things with the community as well. Um, right. For the most Pod part, uh, because the community activity decreased, a lot of the other features we had, like um, the Forge team and stuff, just died out. Because, you know, there wasn't a podcast here to really keep them. Yeah. But, you know, we're at, at, well, as things start to pick up again, we're going to see about getting those groups reactivated again. Right, there's there's some community things that have started since the podcast ended and haven't had too much success, but hopefully uh, with the podcast returning, there we'll get some more of the old members back, because I know some of them have gone on to other clans. 
Yeah. Um, so hopefully with the podcast coming back, we can get some of the older members uh, back into the forums. And we welcome the new members. That's yeah, and, we, and we're, we're still... Uh, we still get new members yep. on a regular basis, so the community is still growing despite the lack of the podcast, but we are bringing it back, so hopefully we can attract some new members yes. to the podcast and the forums. Actually, on the subject of the clans there, uh, mind if I just go over what I'm thinking of doing for... Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Secret. Yeah. So Larry? some of you, I've been working on redoing the PC clans over the summer, and actually my most recent revisions took up a good chunk of our discussions on the at the conference we just had here. And they've been revised, so it's a bit more, the system's a bit more similar to what we have for the console clans right now. So the way it's going to be structured is we're going to have two clans. First one is going to be the Pautacular PC Rec clan. Similar to the uh, console Rec clan, it's just going to be people can get together, uh, you know, just play giant social group. And the way the rank structure is going to be set up there, we're going to have overlords, most likely myself and Dust Storm, a few senior staff members, and then just general members. That's that's it. No real structure. There's no requirements really to get in or out. A PC. You know, just usual good behavior and whatnot. And yeah, people, it's just like the right clan. Yeah, Pretty people much. who play, who are actively play games that are on staff, can organize get-togethers on a certain date that work for people. So it's just like, you know, get together and have fun sort of thing. Now, and then we have the Podtacular Regulars. And this is going to be like the All-Stars or the, uh, what's that other? Probably like the Pro, the Pro Clan. Yeah. Pro slash All-Stars. These are going to be the guys that either really want to play competitively or, you know, just want to get more heavily involved. And this one's going to be set up a bit differently. There's going to be Overlords. My, my, myself and Dust Storm as overlords. And then there's going to be regular members at the bottom of the chain, or, well, on that level. And they're just going to be people who, you know, want to get together on a regular basis with meetings and play and such like that. And then there's going to be teams for each specific game. Uh, team members are going to be on the same level as the regular members. And then there's going to be a leader for each game's team. And then those team leaders are going to have a bit of leeway. They're going to be allowed to recruit members and make form the teams at their discretion. But, I mean, we're still... The Overlord is still going to have, like, the ultimate hammer. Over, since it is going to be a more competitive team-based aspect, we're opening it up, whereas the actual team leaders have the ability to control their own teams. Cool. Yeah, and this, is, this is an expansion from the regular PC clan, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The original? We're not sticking to Halo anymore. Halo's still going to be part of what we do, but it's by no means our only focus. We're, right now, we I see mostly Team Fortress 2, Woo! but I mean, there's people who play Call of Duty, Battlefield, Crisis, lots of games. So we're going to open it up as much as we can. The Rec Clan's going to be, you know, whatever games you want to play feel free to do it. With the regulars clan, you only form a team if, you, if there's enough people to do so. Okay. Right. Okay. That's cool. Just competition and how will we go about joining these? Oh, um, well, we're going to... I've formed groups for both clans on Xfire, and I'm going to look at forming them on Steam as well, depending on who has what. And once I get the initial structure set up, we're going. I'm going to open the clans up, and I'm going to post links to both the clans' pages on Xfire and Steam once I get those set up on the website. And then you can feel free to apply. If there's people who want to volunteer to be team leaders for competitions in specific games for the regulars clan, they can uh, come see me about that. If there's and for think with senior members in. Um, the rec, rec clan. That's gonna. Those people are gonna be chosen by the overlords. Okay. Dust Storman. Nice. So Sounds really good. Yeah. So you guys are definitely gonna know once I get everything up and running here. It might take another week or two, 
And then, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Okay, nice. Yep. Well, thanks for that bit. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people happy that we're moving beyond the realm of just Halo for the PC clan now. So, yep. that's exciting. Yes, it is. So, unless when you guys have anything else to add, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. I was just going to say, if we haven't already, that the podcast will be returning on in September, late September, early October, usually about. And it will be a regular podcast once a week, which will be recorded every Monday or um, when we're free. Uh, and we will be using the st- same rotation as we've already said, and we will be asking for submissions like on a Saturday or a Sunday night, so we can go ahead and wrap them up and put them in on the Monday show. Uh, we're looking for a release date of about Wednesday or Thursday. Hopefully. Right. All goes well, because we are busy with university and colleges. And high school. And high school, yes. <laughs> For the adolescents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I just wanted to say, well, yeah, we're really happy to be coming back, but, I mean, it's a lot of it's on us, but it's also on you, too. This is your community, and we can only do so much. Some of it comes down to you guys to put in the efforts. And make it what you want it to be. Right. Yeah, we're we're still going to be relying on support from the communities, from submissions and forum activities. So. Yeah, that was what uh, made podcasts are so great. We were really community based. Everybody was right. able to get involved in some way or another. Yeah, and if if you're worried about the podcast being different from from what it was before, and it's like, oh, they're new people and whatnot, we're one of our main priorities is sticking to the old format of the podcast, so you shouldn't have to worry about uh, new stuff coming in, different protocols that we're going to be using for the podcast or anything. Podcast or anything; those are not going to change. Uh, the only thing that'll change is what you guys submit. So, yeah, I mean, we are different personalities than Fumo Drive and JBB, but we're going to try and live up to their expectations. expectations. Yeah. <laughs> Jump shoes. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to fit their shoes, though. We might not do it. We They're might not fit perfectly. Big, mommy. They're too big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you yeah. remember uh, Weekly Porridge? It wasn't JVB, just like a part of a hairy leg and then this giant boot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I, I didn't get into the weekly porridge that much. Yeah, wow, it was great. but yeah, there been discussion so, in the uh, forums about Halo news coming back. Or something I was reading there was yesterday. at one point actually. Uh, I don't know if they are or not, but it'd be pretty interesting to see that come back because I loved it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, Halo news was awesome. I I liked the Voltron episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Let's start wrapping up. Yep. 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 Uh, first off, we want to thank Fumo, most uh, most importantly, for starting the podcast and making such a great community, uh, getting us all involved in Halo and getting us where we are now, because we wouldn't be here if he didn't make the podcast. So I'd like to yeah. thank uh, Spellcheck and JVB for being great hosts, and keeping, the, keeping it fun and interesting. Yep, and I'd like to extend a thanks out to the community. You guys, uh, all the support in the forums, all the active members to keep the community together. You guys are really the glue that holds this place together. Cool, cool. Yeah. Be sure to check us out at podtacular.com. Our forums are still active and alive. There are many ways to get involved and make friends in the community. Check out other shows on the GamerCast Network, GamerTag Radio, Uncle Gamer, Sarcastic Gamer, Achievement Junkie, GCN, Video Game Show, and JBB Show, uh, Post Game Report, at TalkingAboutGames.com. Yeah. I actually think Achievement Junkie and one of the other ones in the GamerCast Network are also on TalkingAboutGames.com. Okay. Are they? Yeah, that's Sweet. what I saw. Well, you'll be able to check them out shortly because Captain Crunk is putting up a Friends of Podtacular page. So, yes, that right. Was, uh, yeah, a lot of people were talking about having that set up in the forum, so I'm going to try and make that happen. All right. Okay, so till next time, I am Dust Storm. I'm Cryptoflix. And I'm Lancebox. Woo!
And we'll first podcast. First while, keep on dragon trucks. <laughs> keep on, yeah, doing that. Keep on bombing trucks. Keep on bombing trucks. <laughs> There's only one thing left to say. Discover the website that brings you all these great episodes and headlines at GamerCastNetwork.com.